friends on YouTube. Welcome to my show, Thai Guy and Food. You are now watching the food section of the Thai Guy and Games channel. For today's video, I'll be cooking Pat Ka Pao Gai Khai Dao Lat Khao, which translates to stir fried chicken and holy basil over rice topped with crispy fried egg in English. Alright, guys, without further ado, let's get into the ingredients. Alright, so for the first ingredient, this is holy basil, which is the star of the show. It will give you a nice fragrance to the dish. Next is the chicken. I'm using breast here. It's a chili, a Thai chili pepper, bird's eye chili, and garlic. For flavor, we're using oyster sauce, fish sauce, soy sauce. So these three components will give the flavor to the dish. So in terms of preparation, what you do is you cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces, like I'm doing here. The amount that you're seeing now is about one chicken breast. For the holy basil, we will only be using the leaf part of the basil. So pull as much as you want. Just keep in mind that the more you put in, the more aroma, the more fragrance you're going to have in the dish. And here it is. For the chili, we're going to pull the end part of it out. And for the garlic, we're just going to peel it off like we normally do. Then we're going to take these two bad boys and then chop them into pieces. You can chop them into fine pieces, but I'm chopping it into rough, um, rough pieces because I don't want them to burn too fast in the pan. And this is the end product. Now we are going to prepare the sauce in this bowl, starting with one to two tablespoons of oyster sauce, then half a tablespoon of fish sauce, then followed by another half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Keep in mind that you can add more or less of any ingredient that you see according to your preference. Before cooking, be sure to preheat the pan with high heat. Once the pan is hot, add the garlic and chili and then cook it until you smell the aroma. After that, we're going to be adding the chicken. After adding, just cook it until it's well done. Um, the time would vary according to the size of the chicken pieces that you cut. If you ever found yourself in a situation where the chicken pieces are too big, use your spatula to cut the chicken into smaller pieces. This would help the chicken to be cooked much faster. Now we're going to add the sauce that we have prepared. Use a spoon to get every last drop of that goodness. After putting everything together, grab a spoon and give it a taste. See if it's missing any flavor that you want to have in the dish. If yes, just add more of the ingredient. Now you're seeing me adding sugar into the dish, which is quite common in Thai cuisine to balance out with the savory flavor of the other ingredients. Once you're finished with the taste, add in the holy basil last and cook it until it's done, which should take less than a minute. Alright, turn off the heat and let's plate the dish. As mentioned in the intro of the video, this dish will be served over rice or with rice, which is a common way to have Thai food when you don't have much time. For example, when you're on your lunch break. Another common thing to do for this type of dish is to add a crispy fried egg on top as a finishing touch. 
Not only does it go well with the dish, but it also adds more vibrant color. I like my eggs yolky, as you can see. And now we're done with this easy to make dish. Alright guys, and that is it for this Pat Kapao Kai Kai Dao dish. I hope that you guys tried it out yourselves. It's super easy, I promise. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to get notified when more food videos are up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.